Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you a very interesting tool which is not perfect but I believe a lot of useful things can come out of this. If you are looking to redact your documents, especially the PDF documents with AI, this could be a good starting point. The reason why I am saying it's a starting point because for example, if you want to redact or mask or hide personally identifiable information such as credit card, date of birth, security number, a lot of other things, then uh, reduction or masking with AI is quite a good use case. And this tool does only basic reduction if you use a local model which also comes with it. If you want to do complex one, it uses AWS services behind the scene. AWS Public Cloud already has a lot of services, for example, Text Direct, and then we have Comprehend, where you can do a lot of stuff, and there are a lot of other tooling with it. So if you go through its repo, this is what it says, that if you are looking to do basic reduction with some of the error margins, go with this tool. And then if you want to do complex one, you can integrate AWS services with this tool. So for this video, we are going to install it locally, but I will only be doing a basic one because I believe that if you're looking to do the complex reduction or masking, you shouldn't even be using this tool. Uh, I don't think so that is uh, what the tool really is up for it. Either use AWS services directly or I already have done few videos on such tooling. For example, there is even this a specific model called as Piranha version 1 which you can use to protect your personal information like credit card and lot of other things which you can check out and there are a few other videos I have done on various tools but I believe that this could be a good starting point if you are looking to build your own tool maybe get some ideas from it use local models or local tooling in order to build a better redaction tool anyway so that is what it is but full marks to the creator they also have said that this app is not 100 percent accurate and will miss some personal data so be aware of that anyway but basic reduction let's see how it performs on our local pdf files so let me install it locally and then we will see how it works before that let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in a video's description. This is my Ubuntu system and let me first create a virtual environment with Conda and then we will see how it goes and virtual environment is done let's git clone the repo of this doc underscore reduction that is done and then we need to install requirements from the root of the repo it installs few things here so might take a bit of a time so let's wait maybe a couple of minutes or so and that is done let's clear the screen and now you can launch your application which is primarily a gradio demo which runs so let me run this okay you see the first time i have sorry and my apologies for this it has opened the application here so that message which was popping up it is just my local ubuntu system but anyway before i show you this automatically open browser window let's go back to the terminal so you see if you go at the top when i ran that application it is looking for aws information so if you have a have ever logged into aws cloud it asks you for aws credentials which could be in your uh, dot profile file or it could be your secret access key and key id and through which you i think it is using boto3 sdk of aws and as you can see I, it's not set here because i'm not going to use aws credentials for it so other than that, all it has done is it has downloaded the Spacey model, which is NLP local model, very uh, old one. And then you can see that it has uh, uh, created this 7860. Also, if you want, you can use those Tesseract and Poplar libraries. I would highly recommend you do that before you run this stuff. It's very easy to install on Ubuntu just with the pa packages Tesseract and Poplar okay so let me take you now to the browser 
and this is a very basic interface of this application let me make it slightly bigger so that you would be able to see a bit more clearly so at the top it is just the introduction about it which i we already have seen and discussed earlier now there are a few tabs where you can do some settings so here the first tab is the most uh, usable one where you can upload your own pdf files and then you can go with local models or aws comprehend and same goes for this text extraction now there is a bit of a difference between these so as you see by default it selects aws services but i'm just going to go local model selectable text and local but you can do uh, the local model which primarily means that this is going to read text directly from pdf that have selectable text to detect using pike pdf so this is fine for most pdf but we'll find nothing if the pdf does not have selectable text so it is not really good for handwriting or signature if it encounters an image file it will send it to second option which is a local ocr model uh, where uh, you know this option will use a simple op ocr model which is tesseract to pull out text from pdf or images it sees this can handle most type text in pdf without selectable text but struggle with handwriting so i would suggest uh, first try with this local model or even start with this local ocr if you just want to do the local ones and then this is where it is going to give you the output summary if you want to do the redact settings you can also uh, give it that okay but but exactly for example um, you consider as personally identifiable information credit card number and all that stuff you can even add your own if you like so these are few of the settings which you can check aws and other stuff so i would suggest just go with the default one and then this is where you can review the stuff previously done and then this is for excel and csv file you can also do the same thing with them but i have seen that it works really um it doesn't work that good with this csv or excel file but pdf support looks more handy to me as far as this one is concerned anyway so let me select a local file from my system so i have just created a simple file called as py.pdf i just selected it and if i if i show you that this is a file where all I'm doing it, I'm just uh, given it a very random and dummy file that it contains some of the information like phone number, social security number, and driving license number and all that stuff. So this is what I'm going to test. So I'm just going to click on this retag the document here. So as soon as I have clicked on it, it ha already has done it. So you see it has done some py redacted OCR output and all that stuff. So we just need to download and check it out. Now I'm not, it, I was hoping that it is going to give me some sort of output here, but it doesn't. So anyway, so I, what I will do, I'll just download it and show you. I'm just clicking on it and then I'll just say show in folders. So this is what it has OCR it. So let me show you that OCR one. So this one is, so this is what it has read from that file. Now let's see what it has done in terms of reduction. Let's go back. So this second file is a redacted one. I'm just clicking here and there you go. So it has redacted a lot of stuff, name, address, and this looks quite good. And you see it was, I'm sure it's that it's not even using my GPU. Let's quickly check. The speed was split second. Yeah, it's not even using my GPU. And by the way, my system has a GPU courtesy Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. You will really like it. But anyway, look at this. So basic one, really good stuff. As I said, make sure that once you do it, you do it through local OCR, modern and local, you will get the good results for basic one. And I think for most of the use cases, even you should be able to um, go through it. But if you your PDF has a lot of images, handwriting, signatures, um, that sort of stuff, then maybe invoices and billing and all that, then maybe you should opt for this AWS services. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to it in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.